Hi. So, um, I was supposed to be in Houston like an hour and a half ago, but everything takes longer um, in a van. So, uh, so I haven't left Austin yet, but I wanted to shoot a video really quick and um, talk a little bit about some of the things that happened. So there's been some like serious reconfiguration of a few things um, here in the van based on, um, so I, my first night I stayed in a, um, a visitor center at, uh, in Anthony, Texas, just north of uh, El Paso. And normally I wouldn't think I'd be feeling safe at a rest stop. I've had bad things happen um, from traveling just in cars, trying to rest at a rest stop, um, uh, like at night, and um, didn't feel safe. But this place was recommended on, um, I think it was freecampsites.net or maybe even Campesina. And um, so I went, and actually it was really, really nice, and I did feel safe, and there were several other people that were also sleeping. Um, and so, so that was really nice. And then um, the second night, uh, I was going to do a more kind of boondocking experience, and um, the website listing said that it was a covered picnic area um, that had like a little pullout behind some trees on a little hill above it and all this kind of stuff. Well, I get there and there's no, there's no, um, and it was like an hour <laughs> out of the way, but it looked like, I mean, it was in a really beautiful area. And so, um, so I drove down there and got there at about, you know, a little later than I wanted to, but it was about five or six, which is fine. And, um, but there is no covered picnic area. It was just like kind of a broken up concrete patch, like in the middle of this intersection with concrete barriers that were set there to, um, keep you from pulling under the one tree that was there and then like when I went up on the hill behind the trees there's all this like trash on the ground and um, you can see that people had like started fires to like watch the cactus blister and stuff like this so um, I was raised in Memphis Tennessee my family's from Mississippi and Arkansas like uh, it was very clear to me that this is where country boys go to like shoot shit, drink and hurt shit. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is not uh, a place I'm going to feel safe as a, as a female solar traveler. So I got out of there and, um, and then it made me think, you know, like, yeah, of course, like the kids around here are going to know, um, the kids around here are going to know where every little holla is. Um, and that's where they're going to go to like try to get away from their parents and for people to not see them when they're doing the stuff they're not supposed to be doing. And, um, and, you know, so, um, and like listening to my other mother talk about what was going on in DeWitt, like, you know, <laughs> this is in the seventies and eighties. So, um, and I know now, you know, this stuff has probably gotten even crazier. It was like a soap opera, right? So it's like, who's, who's gotten drunk, who's gotten in a wreck, who's gotten knocked up. Like that was, that was, <laughs> that was the weekly update. So, um, so I'm having to kind of like move my budget around a little bit and especially because it's in the south and it's hot and I really need to be able to sleep with like both of the doors open I think um, and uh, so I think I'm gonna end up having to stay at more like campsite campsites and maybe some dispersed campsites or um, I'll feel safe and fine with the, the doors open um, but I'm gonna have to shift my budget around a little bit so there's or a lot actually there's not gonna be the money to like go out at lunch and try regional specialties and that kind of stuff so um and then last night so uh luckily you know that happened and then i came into austin to stay with some uh, with my sister-in-law and um so i've been like brainstorming and reconfiguring some things to kind of figure out how to do stuff and i found a few places along the way in the deep south to like stay with people that i can either park and then the possibility of coming inside if, if it just gets too hot um because like in austin at night uh, it's actually pretty cool, but, um, but it was, it was hot in the van. So, um, so I may need air conditioning through the deep South in, in July. <laughs> uh, and then, um, last night I tried, so I had bought this, uh, like air conditioner cooler off of eBay. The guy did a beautiful, they were beautiful. They're so cute. But, um, and it like wedged here between like the end of the bed and the passenger seat. Um, and and I, I forgot my second ice bag and I didn't want to dump the ice in there straight because then it's just going to turn into a big humidifier by the time it's all said and done. And, um, and I, 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 I don't need any more humidity. 
<laughs> and not to mention like, you know, uh, moisture is not your friend in a van. So, um, so I tried it out last night to see how it worked with the ice bag and, um, maybe with the ice, it's great with the ice bag. It just, it was actually cooler to angle the, the fan coming in on the top to come in and get night air than it was the air that was coming off the, 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 the ice bag. So, um, so I'm just going to actually leave that with my sister-in-law. Um, and she's going to mail it back to me. Um, it's not small, but it's very light, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm so grateful for her help. But, um, so now I've got a little more space here in front of the bed. And so I moved my, I was taking my solar panel and, you know, strapping it here onto the bed when I was um, driving. And then, you know, I would have it here and just kind of loop it around the, the, um, the seat belt thing when I was sleeping. So it wouldn't like fall over and crush my foot in the middle of the night or something. Um, but it, you know, that was a drag. And so this is nice. Now I've got it, um, now I've got it here right there. It fits nicely right there. So now I've got it here, um, nicely, nice and out of the way. So that's good. And then, um, well, that's not going to angle back the way it was, is it? And then, um, uh, yeah, so the cooler, uh, the cooler air conditioner didn't work for me. And I think I wanted to try it out here in Austin. I didn't need it the other nights. And, um, I wanted to try it out here in Austin because their humidity isn't as bad. It's like Houston, New Orleans, Mobile, Montgomery, uh, Atlanta, Charleston, which are the next stops on the road. And, um, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to try it here because if it worked, just because it doesn't work in Montgomery doesn't mean it's not going to work in other places. And, but here, you know, I think their humidity is probably comparable to what I'm going to be experiencing in, um, like Ohio and Indiana and places like that. So, um, but it didn't really work and it takes up a whole lot of space. And so I think I'm going to do better, like, um, buying a, another fan, like maybe a Vornado, one of the smaller Vornados. So like the one they had is pretty big actually. And it was, uh, like 50, 55 Watts or something, which isn't too bad. Um, but she said they had like a travel size that was 26. So that's hopefully those Vornados are intense. So hopefully that 26 Vornado like pushes out enough to, um, cause more fans would be nice. Um, and just, you know, remind me of, visiting Gammy in Mississippi and having fans pointed on you from all angles because there was only air conditioning in the, there was a window air conditioner in the living room. That was it. Right. So, um, yeah, so there's the update on what's happened so far. And, um, my family is, uh, going to lunch. I told them to go eat without me. They were like, Oh, we have a good idea for lunch. And so, um, I'm going to get there, uh, like mid afternoon or whatever. I'll eat a little something here while this uploads. And, um, but yeah, so <laughs> some more lessons learned. I thought I would share those with you for other people that are kind of thinking about some of these things. Um, and uh, we'll definitely keep you updated as we go down the road. Thanks for watching.